Today, I'm going to show you how to blend two images together seamlessly and match the color inside of Photoshop. Hey, Cafe crew, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. And today I'm going to show you how to blend two images together to create a composite. Now, something that's really popular is taking a Milky Way sky and adding that into other photographs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this photograph of the waterfall and then we're gonna put the night sky in and I'm also gonna show you how to match the colors so they look like they belong together. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna go here and grab our night sky image. Now we wanna combine the two documents together. So this is the most important step. You just click and hold, move over the tab, you'll see the new picture will appear don't release yet go over into the middle you'll see the pointer there now when your point is in the middle then you can release and now you'll see the two images have been placed on two layers inside the same document all right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to zoom out a little bit and i'm going to move this guy up to the top so here's the thing if you can't see the boundaries of this hit Control or command t and that brings up the boundaries of that photo so we can see where it goes so we're going to bring it up to about there and we also want to size it so that it matches. So we can just click like that and drag down from each corner. Or the other way you could do is if you want to do it all in one go, hold down the alt or the option key. And now you'll see both sides are moving in at the same time. Now, if you're using a version of Photoshop older than CC 2019, you need to hold down the shift key when you resize it and that will constrain it. In CC 2019, they changed it where now everything will automatically stay constrained unless you hit the shift key. All right, let's just hit enter to apply it. All right, so now we've got two photos that are a little bit larger than what we see in our image area. I want to resize the image area so that it is exact size of these two photos. And we can do this by going up under image, reveal all. Now we want to blend the two images together seamlessly. The way to do that is select the top layer. Then we're going to go down and we're going to click on the layer mask to add a layer mask. Now where the layer mask is white, it shows the contents of this layer. If the layer mask is black, it hides the contents of that layer. So what we want to do is create a smooth gradient that goes through the two and that's going to create a nice even blend. So let's grab our gradient tool and we're going to set it to foreground, background, white and black by hitting the D key. So that's the default values. And then we want to go up, make sure we've got linear selected, mode is normal, opacity 100. Now we're just going to click and drag down just to kind of see where we are. In fact, let's go up very high so we can see there's the edge of the image. So what we want to do is start just inside the edge of that image holding down the shift key to constrain it. We can drag this down. Notice now it's going to stay perfectly vertical. We're going to grab it down to right there on the top of those hills. And notice now it's blending those images together nicely. Now we've got a little bit more work we need to do on here. What we're going to do now is we're going to match the colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this background. I'm control command J to make a copy of this. And we're going to make this layer here match the color. So what we need to do is go up under image adjustments, which is where all our adjustments live. And then we're going to go down to match color. Okay. What we want to do now is we want to take the color from the sky and apply this to the foreground. So the foreground is using the same color palette. And the way to do that is under source, you want to make sure that we're selecting the same image we're working on. And if we look at it here, it shoots do Niagara. So let's go down there, shoots do Niagara. And now we're working inside the same document. The next thing we want to do is we want to take the layer and I can see layer one is where our sky layer is. So let's go under here and we're going to choose layer one. Notice now that this appears and it's saying, Hey, this is the color that we're grabbing. Let me move the match color off to the side a little bit. Okay, so we need to make this blend a little bit more. So luminance, we can make it brighter by turning up this luminance and see it go darker or brighter. 
So what we want to do is we want to turn our color intensity up a little bit. And this is where we really make it blend is by using the fade. If I take fade all the way across, notice that no color effect is happening. As I push it to the left, it starts to take more from our colors up in the sky here and blend it in. So take it to about where the colors are starting to match. That's looking pretty good. Now we can change the color intensity, which is going to give us more saturation or less saturation. So we just want to kind of match the saturation, what we've got here in the foreground and the sky. So we want to match the saturation. And of course, that's how much of that color is present. Let's increase our luminance because we know we need to make this brighter. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's just play around a little bit more here with our color intensity. Just kind of get that dialed in a little bit more. And let's get our fade dialed in a little bit more. So what I'm focusing right now is these areas here. Look at these. See how they're starting to match the colors there. The water is going to be harder to judge because it's those colors are not necessarily present in here. So let's click OK. We're almost there, but what we want to do is recover a little bit of our whites here, you know, because it's getting a little washed out. And so the way to do that is if we go up under our effects, choose blending options. Now we're going into our advanced blending. And what we want to do is allow these light areas to cut through. So we're going to just increase this. Notice as I pull that, we can see those light areas are coming in, but it's looking posterized. What we need to do is hit the Alt or the Option key. See this little triangle? Click. Notice it splits that triangle, and now we can pull it back to wherever we want to start. I'm actually going to pull it up a little bit because I like it where it's starting to let these white values show through. And if anything, we might be able to wind back a little bit there. And we can click the Preview. We can see what it looked like before and after. See how that's just kind of brought back a little bit of that life to that image there. And it's as simple as that to blend layers together. Now, this is the cornerstone for all kinds of compositing and collaging. I've got lots more tutorials where I'm taking this technique a lot further, and I'll link some of those underneath. All right, so I've got a question for you guys. Are you on Mac or are you on Windows? And are you happy with that platform? Or are you thinking of switching to something else? Me, I'm actually ambidextrous, so I use Mac and I use Windows. I'm getting a little less happy with Mac as time's going on, unless they release a new Mac Pro, which I hope happens soon. So anyway, let me know in the comments underneath. I'm really curious what you're using and if you're happy with it. And if you like these kind of tutorials, hit the subscribe button right now and you'll become part of the Cafe Crew and get a new tutorial from me every week, usually every Tuesday. So just ring that little notification bell so you know when I upload it. If you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.